Hey Fire Letter friends and welcome to another love letter from Hanny. I am very excited. This is a very special love letter because it is number one coming to you from the new studio which I'm very excited about. Um, I've got these gorgeous flowers here that are finally up and blooming in Utah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm so ready for spring. I just hope it's not like a winter to summer sort of a thing situation you're going but it's staying fairly cool and and nice so anyway um the other reason is is because it is mother's day and so i wanted to get on here and wish every woman who sees this a very happy mother's day and i wanted to share a thought with you that has um really been a comfort to me in my life um on mother's day <laughs> so um i am extremely blessed to be a mother i have two children i love them they are wonderful and um and i i consider them um being their mother one of the greatest privileges of my life um and uh i know though that not every woman is able to have children and um, there was a time in my life uh, there's nine years between our children, um, and and it w that wasn't on purpose. There were um, there was a big gap because um, my body was just not having it, and um, we had several miscarriages and and went through a time of infertility that was very difficult. And uh, Mother Mother's Day um, felt it it held uh, it was a bittersweet sort of a of a holiday for me, um, as I'm sure many many women have experienced and experienced to a much deeper uh, degree than I have um, being blessed with the two children that I have been blessed with. But I, I over that time of those nine years of, of frustration and, and sorrow and all the things that come with inf infertility, I, um, I learned a few really wonderful lessons um, about what it means to be a mother that I wanted to share with you um, because my definition of what it means to be a mother um, has nothing to do with whether or not you're able to bear children. Um, to me, woman, being a woman equals motherhood, being a mother. Um, and there's three reasons why I feel that way. Because I feel like every woman, um, no matter whether she's married or has children or or, or whatever, um, I, I feel that every woman I've ever come in contact with has these three qualities inside of her in one way or another. Um, and, and I guess I've been thinking about this so much because of this question that's been going around in our uh, society right now of what is a woman. Um, to me, the answer is simple. A woman is a mother. And, um, and the three reasons why are uh, because women have the three these three qualities in them, whether or not they bear children. And the first one is um, this ability to um, nurture and to um, uplift and inspire the people around her. Um, I've had so many women in my life who were not my mother. <laughs> nurture and uplift and save me and and bear with me um, that idea of bearing children bearing with one another um, through sorrows and through suffering and through uh, all all the walks of life i've had so many women who are not my mother do that for me and um and i'm sure as have many of you um the other the third thing was or the second thing is that um women innately beautify and create we are we are creative beings um i i, I tease my family all the time about this but i, I have <laughs> these um books or, or stories that i've been working on for longer than my children have been alive and i i, I trick I, I tease them by saying you know these are your siblings because it's it is like a birthing process you're creating something that wasn't there before and and all of us as as women especially this creative nature is in each of us and it's such a beautiful wonderful thing that contributes so much to the world um, and the final thing which is um, I feel like more vital and valuable than it's ever been before is that women innately have this moral compass it's this this ability to to see the best in people, to inspire the best in people, to uh, differentiate between right and wrong and 
um, wholesome and not wholesome and virtuous and all of these things, I, I believe that it is womanly and motherly to seek out the light and to lead people to the light. Um, whatever uh, version or definition of that you want to call it, but, but to me it's, it's a moral rectitude that, that we each as women are given and it's, it's something that is uniquely woman. And, and, and to me it makes perfect sense because you have, women are the, the, the sex that bears children and brings these children into the world and why why wouldn't they have that more firm and and clear and sensitive moral rectitude if they are the ones that are raising for the most part the, the next generation and so for me i guess uh over those nine years of kind of going through that frustration and and really sort of trying to figure out what does it mean to be a mother for me even though i was extremely blessed to have my son during that time and to be able to spend so much wonderful time one-on-one -on -one with him, there was still uh, this void in my life. And I believe that it was an extraordinary blessing for me to, one, not only come to understand what a lot of women around me were experiencing um, in, in not having any children at all, not, not, being, not having found their spouse yet and, and not being able to start start their families yet um, but also this idea that mothering is so much more than being able to bring a child into the world mothering is something that never goes away it is part of who we are um, as women we nurture one another we uplift one another we carry one another in so many ways and um, and so on that note, I just wanted to reach out and, and, and celebrate with you this idea that because you are a woman, you are a mother. That, that woman, what is a woman? She is a mother. And, and that takes on so many different, um, it looks so many different ways because there are so many different women and so many different circumstances. But just because we haven't had children yet, or, or maybe never will in this life, does not mean that that robs us of this extraordinary part of our identity and, and huge part of our identity, which is motherhood. And so I wanted to leave that with you and, and to wish every woman who sees this a very happy Mother's Day and to um, encourage you to, to kind of embrace that idea that you are a mother, whether you have children, physically have born children or not, you are a mother because of what you bring to the world. You bring the nurturing, you bring the creativity, and you bring the moral compass that is so incredibly important to the entire human race. And, um, and the world is a better place because you are in it. And so many people are being nurtured and mothered and cared for um, and blessed because of you. And I just wanted to leave that with you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And we will talk to you again next time. Take care.